fare increases and service cuts. That's what officials with SEPTA say may be needed if the state doesn't step in to help fill a massive budget shortfall. SEPTA says it's short $240 million. Now they're asking for both short-term relief and some kind of long-term solution. Action News reporter Annie McCormick live along Broad Street in South Philadelphia tonight. Uh, Annie, just how dire is this situation? Well, SEPTA leadership thinks it's very dire, and so does City Council President Kenyatta Johnson and also members of City Council today again. They're calling on Harrisburg to carve out more money for the transit agency. $161 million. $161 million. That's how much Council President Kenyatta Johnson says is needed to help SEPTA. A permanent funding solution is critical to ensure the sustainability of SEPTA services for the greater Delaware Valley and region. If the state does not help, we're going to have to raise fares and we're going to have to cut service and that's likely going to become a death spiral for, for the agency. SEPTA is facing a $240 million deficit after COVID relief funds have expired. A one-time infusion of $46.2 million from the state is temporary. They need a long-term fix. Recently, SEPTA proposed changes including a 7.5% fare increase. We will have a vote to eliminate the discount that uh, that'll increase another 14 million. Beginning this month, we're going to begin charging parking um, at all the regional rail stations for the first time since COVID. Governor Shapiro proposed a plan that would generate an additional $282 million per year for all transit systems, including $161 million for SEPTA. The legislature did not take up the decision in July. Shapiro says he is in talks with Senate leadership. Leader Pittman has made clear that he is open to funding mass transit all across the state, together with roads and bridges, especially in some of our rural communities, um, by using dollars that could come from regulating and taxing skill gains. He sort of married those two concepts together. Yeah, in a statement today, Senate Majority Leader Pittman did say that Senate Republicans supported the substantial one-time increase, but he also said that it is up to Senate Democrats to place a significant level of priority on the matter of mass transit funding. And as for those proposed increases, Brian, they still need to be voted on by SEPTA. If they are voted in, they could take place as soon as December. For now, reporting live in South Philadelphia, Annie McCormick, Channel 6, Action News. Brian. A debate. We'll keep watching. Annie, thank you.